welcome back to Kamara's Place. If you're interested in how I was able to achieve this look, then continue to watch this video. <laughs> to mention in the intro that i'm going to a nikah which is a muslim wedding in two hours i've already applied my edge control on my edges so right now i'm just tinting this stocking cap with my bronzer the hair is from amazon link will be in bio this is not a sponsored video and in case you're wondering why my stocking cap look a bit lumpy it's because even though i'm fully black i don't know how to cornrow there i've said it so this is a 10 inch bob 13 by 4 lace and I curled the bob last night because I wanted it to have more volume when it first came out the box it was a bit flat I know it looks a bit crazy right now but trust the process so I don't do the ball cap method nor do I use super hold glue the only product that I use when laying my wig is my even spray and my blow dryer and I just make sure I re repeat the process multiple times until I feel that my hair has been laid down I don't really do the ball cap method and everything else that most of the wig influencer girls do is because when I get home at night I like to just take my wig off even makes it easy to take the, your wig off after you come home so now we're getting to the makeup part so like I said before I'm going to a nika and this is actually my first one and I'm actually going to be playing a part in it I'm going to drop the nika video next week I'm going in with my primer. This is the one from ALF. It's great for a matte finish. Y'all know that's one of my Justin Bieber goes. Is it too late now to say? I'm going in with my concealer to highlight it. I'm going to be using two different concealer in this video. Well, three actually, but two for my eyes. One for my brows and a much lighter one for the lids. But for the concealer that I'm using for my eyes are from Juvia's Place big mistake that i can say that i made in this video is probably not letting the concealer that i place on my lid dry before using my beauty blender i could have given it more time but when you're in a rush you don't like clock a lot of things that you would would have if you had a plethora of time on your hand i started off this video with one eyeshadow but then midway i was like nah i'm not really i don't like the way the color is coming out on my eyes so i decided to use the palette that i usually use which is from family dollar which is the brown shade that's a bit closer to my complexion and then that white eggshell kind of color that that I want the purpose of this makeup is to bring attention to my eyes my eyes is not necessarily done but because I'm on a time constraint I'm gonna start with the rest of my face right now I'm doing my foundation this is my go-to foundation the same concealer that I use for my eyebrows is the one that I'm gonna use for my face and I'm using my Juvia's Place eyeshadow to contour and I think this speaks to the fact that with makeup you can utilize it as something different I go ahead and spray my face for the first time before I go in and blend out all of that highlight and contour. I started spraying my face multiple times during my makeup. I think after watching a Jackie Anna video, if I'm not mistaken. But don't OD because everything is expensive now, so please. And then I'm going to go in with my, my much lighter concealer but only under my eyes. But for this wedding, I forgot to tell you guys, I'm going to be taking part in it. And I know you're probably thinking, Liz, this is not your wedding. Why are you going ham? Let me tell you something. If you have, if you've never been to an African wedding, they eat. That means you go to an event, you don't even know who the bride is unless she's wearing white. And sometimes if they're messy, they might wear white too. So you can't just pull up like you're going to a bodega or like you're just running errands. Nah, mamas. You need to eat. So my face car needs to be on not declining tonight. Okay. This is the second eyeshadow that I was talking about. You see the orange color right there? I'm going to use it as a blush. I probably forgot to record it, but I used the glittery shade from this exact palette has a highlighter. I'm not the best at eyeliner. My hand was shaking. I will say though, the only thing I do struggle with is trying to make sure that my eyes look symmetrical because I've realized that if it doesn't, one of my eyes always look bigger than the other. But midway through this video, this fucking headband was sucking the life out of me. Like, I just think it was too tight. So midway through the video, I just took it off. I'm not gonna pass out because I want my lace to be melted. Now I'm going in with my half lashes. I've been doing half lashes lately because it gives me more control. And then I'm going in with my mascara just to make sure that they're both equally blended. 
I'm using my bronzer to line my bottom lashes. I'm using the same bronzer to tint my lace. Now I'm gonna go ahead and spray down any parts of my hair that I feel like wasn't laid the first time and just making sure that my hair is okay. Once I'm satisfied with how the hair look, I'm taking out these pins that I placed in. So I put the pins over there to elevate the bangs. So when if when I take it out, it's not flat. But yes, I did this hair on myself. I plucked it the night before and I did the curls on the mannequin head. The inspo for the hairstyle was the 1920s. I enjoy this lip liner because the application is so smooth. I've used lip liner that made my lip uber dry. For some reason, I just felt like with this hairstyle given 1920s, I just felt like I needed to wear lipstick. I wanted to do like an ombre look. I haven't worn lipstick since like high school. I'm more of a brown lip liner, clear lip gloss kind of girl. All of the products that I've used is relatively cheap because the lip gloss is from Family Dollar. I, I'm dropping it like a video next week. Make sure you check it out. I set my face off camera. Yeah, I ate. I'm sorry. Y'all see y'all see this? Y'all see the material? Y'all see the face card? It's giving bridesmaid. It's giving guests. It's giving I'm going to your neck <laughs> And now you, you guys are about to listen to me talk later. Okay guys, this is the final look. Thank you so much for watching this video. Sorry that I had to do voiceover. But yeah. See you guys at the neck or see you guys on the next video. Bye. Peace.